double. And that's a triple. Damn, you're good! Oh, that's a clean sweep. The Craze Spartan. What's up guys, Craze back again, and today I just have a little bit of gameplay here for you on Solace, and this isn't actually one of my favorite maps uh, by any means, but I do pretty decent in this match. I don't think we win, but you know, I do okay. I do okay. But today actually, uh, I know it's been a little while actually, it's been a little while since I've actually had a commentary, uh, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, I have been busy. Uh oh, I totally almost had that ninja. Totally almost had it. That guy thought he was going to get one. And he got me. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I have been quite busy. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've been doing things like landscaping, been uh, painting and staining a deck, uh, been starting a drop ceiling in my basement, getting a boat ready for fishing, going fishing, uh, spending time with a wife, uh, just all sorts of crazy things that I've just been up to. Um, so yeah, and I have not had the opportunity to really get in here and make some good commentaries, uh, but I'm still here, we're still coming up, E3 is literally less than two weeks away, and we're gonna finally, finally get some Halo news, and if we don't get Halo news, I would be surprised. I know there's people out there that even, uh, even today are like, uh, I don't know if we're gonna get any Halo news, I would be extremely surprised if we did not get something I really really would however that kind of really wants to uh, bring me into the subject at hand which is the question I have in the um, in the in the title here uh, should should Halo 6 have a battle royale mode and I think that is a very very valid question because there is no denying right now is how popular Battle Royale is. You can't go to Twitch, you can't go to Twitter, uh, you can't go to Mixer, you can't go to anywhere without seeing something for some type of Battle Royale game. There's PUBG everywhere, Fortnite is everywhere. Uh, I'm constantly seeing clips of Fortnite uh, in my Twitter feed. Um, so yeah, I think it is a very, very valid question that we ask this. Should Halo 6 have a battle royale mode and I'm gonna sum it up with just one simple statement one simple statement and you guys can think about it and, and go from there and see what you guys think um, I would love to hear your guys opinions uh, of course uh, keep it civil down below you know how it is people get passionate about things they love well my statement is simply this Halo needs to stop chasing trends and start setting them. Let me say that one more time. Halo needs to stop chasing trends and start setting them. I mean, it is that simple. There is no doubt that the Battle Royale is a very, very popular trend, but Halo has not had a whole lot of success in chasing trends. Let's look at its history just a little bit. Uh, Halo 4. What was the trend it was chasing in Halo 4? Well, that was Call of Duty. We had perks, we had loadouts, we had uh, uh, kill streaks, more or less, and it did not do so well. Let's just say on day one, uh, or actually launch weekend, I'll say that, there was over 400, 400,000 players. 400,000 players. That's crazy. And uh, probably about a month, two months later, it dropped down to 50. And then after that, it was down to, I think it averaged about 20,000 for probably about the rest of its life cycle. I don't have the exact numbers, but the drop off was huge. It was absolutely huge. Now, I had fun with Halo 4. I enjoyed it. I, I played, the, played the heck out of it, made a lot of content on Halo 4, but there is no denying that it chased the Call of Duty trend and it just did not do well. 
It really didn't. So, <laughs> along comes Halo 5, so it chased another trend. What trend was that, you ask? That was the advanced movement. We have to have all this crazy movement to be able to run around, jump on things, climb things, slide all over the place, do this, that, and the other. Spartan charge and then AR people in the face. It chased another trend. And like it or not, Halo 5 did not do so well. And, and I, I did. I enjoyed Halo 5 as well. But the truth is, the truth is, it did not do so well. You go into Halo 5 right now, and I there's no numbers. They, they took out the numbers uh, as to how many people are in playlists or how many people are online at any given time because uh, I think they know that it's probably not good. Uh, I would have to say, if there's an average of 5,000 people at any given time, I'm probably overestimating. I, I really am. And it's not that it's a bad game. It's just... This type of stuff just doesn't fit Halo. It just doesn't. And I just have a feeling Battle Royale is going to be another one of those things where if they put it in Halo, it's just not going to fit. Even though, I'm gonna, I will admit this, uh, and I think uh, some other people have stated, uh, there is parts of the Halo sandbox that really do lend itself well. What the heck? <laughs> they, they really do lend itself well to the... Uh, what are you doing? You're teleporting all around me. <laughs> As I was saying, there is parts of the Halo sandbox that really do lend itself well to a battle royale game type. But I just don't think that's the best choice right now. Not for Halo. If, if, if in two years, uh, after the re release of Halo 6 or whatever else, uh, or even if they have a second developer just make some small off-spin uh, Halo Battle Royale type of game maybe I could see that because I have to admit that the ODSTs uh, would make a fantastic uh, Battle Royale type of story and whatnot but I just don't think Halo needs that I think they need to start setting their own trends so what kind of trends can they start setting well here's a big one Think about this. The biggest one, I think, right now is that game companies are just releasing games before they're not done. They are. Uh, Halo 4, not done. Halo 5, it's still not done. In my opinion, it is not done. Uh, you had your basic things there. It was functional. But there's so much stuff that should be there, and it's just not. It's just not. <laughs> like King of the Hill or uh, just all these other game types and invasion and, and stuff that should be there file share that should have been there day one and it's just not and that's what I think would be a great trend to really start setting take the time do the game right have a great story because Halo Halo, in my opinion, has a has a fantastic multiplayer, but it really comes down to the story. It really does. I think uh, one of the things that drew me to Halo to begin with was a fantastic story. It was an incredible universe. I wanted to know more about it, and the multiplayer was an extension of that. It wasn't like, oh, the Spartans are just training and they're on Infinity, blah blah blah. You know, that's that's okay. That's okay, but. Everything in the past games felt like it very well could have been in the campaign. Uh, well, except for Halo Reach, where they just actually just put it in the campaign. And they put maps from the campaign into the multiplayer, which was a really bad decision. Uh, I don't know why Bungie did that, but they did. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, there is that. Halo, I think just really really needs to not chase this trend we need to stop that we need to stop chasing trends we need to really get into starting our own thing and be in our own game again be let halo be halo again i mean it's not that hard uh just take a look take a look at el dorito el dorito launched well actually it didn't even launch i think the, the developers or the, the hackers or, or I don't know what they are. The, 
the modders, I think modders is the best word. I think they just said, hey, point six is out. Halo point six is out. Oh, sorry for the screen there. <laughs> but Halo point six is out and, and uh, don't know why uh, that's, and there was actually no advertising, no anything. And then people just played point six uh, and next thing you know, it just took off. It was on Twitch, it was on Mixer, it was on YouTube. People were excited, they were playing it, they were having fun. They were having fun and they did not have the frustration. And that's my problem with Halo 4, Halo 5. I like the games, but there is always that bit of frustration. Always that bit of frustration in there. And which really is kind of a pain in the butt and it really sucks, but that's the truth. Uh, because it's stuff that I should be able to do or just outplay another player, which is Halo, man. Outplaying, out BRing, outmaneuvering the other player is just the way to go. But in the other games, it's just uh, Halo 4 and 5 is just uh, a lot of taking advantage of your armor abilities and it's not really outplaying it's just taking advantage of things like camo and Promethean vision and and <laughs> Spartan charge and all that other stuff I want to just beat other players and know that I beat them because I was better not because they used a certain skill or a certain armor ability but anyways that's my opinion guys halo 6 does it need a battle royale and in my opinion absolutely not uh, it really doesn't and really shouldn't i think uh, but that's my opinion and i'm always willing to hear your guys's so go ahead and leave a comment down below what you think this is crazed i'm out of here comment like and subscribe